because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Omar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm joined by a man who might be having a fight on Misfit soon, but we'll come on to that in a second. Frank Smith, uh, AJ, back to winning ways. What did you make of his performance? Yeah, look, I think the key was to get the victory in there. Obviously, we wanted to see a knockout performance. That's what we were all talking about all week, but he got in there, you know, and it was a dominant performance, a good win, um, and move on from here. You know, I think we've got to go for the big, big fights from here. Do you think at times he was a little bit tentative in there? And why do you think that was uh, from Joshua? Mm, I think maybe new training, new tactics, you know, trying out new things. Um, but, you know, I haven't really spoken to him too, you know, since, since the fight. But I think he's just developing, you know, and taking everything on board that he's learned in that 12, 13 week training camp with a new trainer. But, you know, much more to come. Obviously, getting the W was the main thing because a loss would have been very catastrophic for his career tonight. So, job done from that perspective. Obviously, as you said, the knockout was a big game because the likes of Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, Joe Joyce to kind of lure them fights in. A statement would have been good tonight, but do you think those three fights, getting one of them, could be realistic for this year with Anthony? Yeah, 100%. I still think he's the biggest fight out there for every one of those names. You know, for me, definitely the Wilder and the Fury fights are fights that could be made. Um, you know, and even you know, Dillian White's potential, but I know they're, they're the focus of, of his, and, you know, we have to see where we go from here. There's lots of stuff going on, obviously, with Wilder and uh, uh, Tyson Fury and uh, Alexander Usyk. You know, talk about whether that's now in the summer, but let's see how things play out. You know, he's. Uh, just finished, but next week we'll get on to it and start planning what's next. Do you think uh, you'll be getting on, well, one of you will be getting on to George Warren then, either about Fury or Joyce? Yeah, I think, you know, we'll for sure, you know, Joyce fights in a couple of weeks anyway, yeah. doesn't he, against Silo Zhang? Um, but for sure, I'm sure we'll speak to George Warren. I think, like we said, the conversation's already started there in the past about opportunities, and, uh, you know, I think it will be quite easy to set that discussion up. What did you make of the event itself in terms of being back at the O2, um, the zone numbers, I don't know if they've come in yet, but everything good so far? Yeah, look, great to be back at a sold out O2, you know, packed out, packed house. Um, it's been a long time since we've done a massive show at the O2 and the atmosphere in there tonight, walk-ons, everything, it had, it, had everything we wanted. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, great to be back. The zone numbers, nothing yet. That, you know, that obviously follows through in a period of time, but, you know, the build-up couldn't have been any bigger. You know, it was a huge build-up. We, we saw the turnout of the way and we saw everything, you know, the, the, the media coverage at the press conference. So, you know, I think everyone's done a great job and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's good to get that, the start of that journey. Again, the next part of the journey up and running. Now on to more pressing matters. Obviously I spoke to you this morning. In training. In training, by the way. Don't show that to Simon. Um, I spoke to you this morning where you were quite pumped up, Frank, I have to say. In fact, you, you um, were the lead figure in front of the camera, even though Eddie Earn was in front of the camera as well. So that was saying something. That's, that's hard doing, isn't it? That's hard doing. That's why I'm a bit, that's why I'm a bit quiet and understated, trying to stay out of the way. Um, yeah, you know, I was, uh, I'd just broken my PB at 5K and I was ready to go. Two and a half K according to it. Yeah, yeah. Well, right. look, Apple says 5K, I'll take it. You know, I'll take whatever it says. You put out a little, you know, sort of banter message to Simon Morning, but uh, Simon Jordan even, but warning him. Um, did you see his response to your tweet when you said about potentially having a fight on a Misfits card? He, he bit back quite hard. Yeah, I was only having banter. It's all a bit of banter, it's all a bit of fun, but he's, uh, he obviously can't take a joke. And then he came back and I went back and then we left him. He was there tonight. Was he? Yeah. He wasn't working though, was he? No, no, he was there. He was there. I saw, I saw, I saw him. I should have gone up and gave him a big hug. Do you think uh, he's got more of a gripe with you than Eddie? Probably, yeah. Because he probably thinks what have I ever done. Like as in me. So, uh, but, you know, it's only a bit of banter. Don't take it too seriously. Why would you listen to what a fat tea boy from Essex says? Frank Smith, thank you very much for your time. We'll speak soon. Cheers, mate. Good to see you. I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.